ladies and gentlemen, my, my colleagues, I just want to uh, read a note here. It says, boss, referring to me. I don't want to be called boss, but they keep calling me boss. I don't know why. Uh, Senator Trillanes staff said that Matomato had to leave, so his security won't be compromised. I told this office we want to finish the Wau Police tonight to stand, uh, so to start with CHR tomorrow. And he says they understand. I only got this note now, and that's why I'm very umbraced by it. Para bang nanabuko na, bigla na wala na. I don't know whether that's true, but uh, I hope that is uh, my, uh, my observation is wrong, but all of a sudden he has gone after uh, uh, we, don't, we went to all the trouble of uh, trying to find out what's going on. Of course, this, uh, this does not mean. Uh, I just want to ask a few questions now, if I may, with the NBI. Have you ever found the body of Mr. Makdum? Never. And that is why a while ago I was asking what the height of uh, Sergeant or SPO4 Art uh, uh, Lasagna is. And uh, did I hear you say correctly, you're 5'4"? 5'5", five, five, Mr. Chair. 5'5". Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Chair. Right. And then, of course, uh, I was asking about the height of Mr. Uh, Matobato, hoping that uh, now it gives you the chance to open. Does the NBI know what is the height of uh, of um, Sally Makdum? You don't have? We don't have the idea, sir. Can you find out? Because according to Mr. Matobato, binigtin nila, asaba niya si Sergeant Art Lacanas, Lascanas, no? Eh, kung gano'ng kaliit si Matobato at malaki ito si Kwan, eh, siguro mahihirapan sila unless yung sinabi niya kasama niya na andyan. I'm just saying this out loud now because I, I am chagrined. I've been, I've been trying to be fair here uh, to everybody, going out of my way to stretch out uh, so, I think that uh, the NBI must give us a copy of this document, and I'd like to have the sec concept tell me what uh, markings we have now, because uh, every time you mark a document, you must tell the chairman so that we will know uh, the markings that we have. I also, at the suggestion of Senator Luxon, uh, instructed my staff, and we have been doing this before, but Senator Luxon just confirmed it, and I'm glad that he did, and along with Senator Soto, we are now lining up all the inconsistencies and the lies that were perpetrated upon this committee by Mr. Matobato. Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Yes. Chairman, go ahead. Yeah, I would like to believe that, although I hate to admit this, that we were all taken for a ride by Mr. Matobato. And it's so frustrating that after all, we're not smarter than the first grader. I think that's an unfair conclusion. That's why we're holding well, that's this my opinion, uh, Senator De Lima. That's an unfair conclusion. And that's why we, I am confronting this gentleman based on the notes that I have, based on my interview with Mr. Matobato. Siguro ho, mas maganda kung nandito pa nga ho si Mr. Matobato. And Problem to say also... Left. We call for this policeman so he can be confronted or he can confront this policeman, but he left. And the orders on him was that he should stay so that at some point in time there would be a confrontation. We, that, we, that you will recall that that's my order, and I know that he was here. I thought he was still here. So probably we can, we can ask uh, Senator Trillanes why. We already did. We already did. But yes. according to him, he was afraid for the security. Uh, because obviously, pag nagkaalaman na ito, siyempre, magagalit sa kanya yung mga taong tina, uh, sinasabihan niya. So, I don't know. I mean, this is really a very, very serious... Uh, we, could have thought, we could have thought of asking him to, to, to already face the, the rest earlier because he was here the whole day. Well, From 7 o'clock, he was here. And I think, what, what time did he leave? Can we check what time they left? So he was here. At 7 o'clock in the morning, as early as 7 o'clock in the morning, he was here. The order of the chair. 
is that he must stay. That is the order of the chair. So that in case he will be needed, he will be presented. He has no business leaving the premises without telling the chair. Now, it just happens to be coincidental na nung umalis siya, lumabas kaya itong nangyari ito. Hindi naman natin pinlano ito. Pati ako nagulat ka. In fact, I was bending over backwards to say that uh, it was an oversight. I did not accuse anything. I did not make anything else out of it. I merely said it was an oversight on the part of Senator de Lima. But when I found out that he left, and according to him, he claims that his security would be compromised, I now have my doubts. I must confess. So uh, I hope I, he's listening, I'm, and I I'm hope sorry. Senator Fignan is listening. I have also instructed the, uh, the OSA to uh, try and get in touch with them to bring, them, bring him back here. Because uh, obviously, uh, he has to answer for uh, lying to the committee, for misleading the committee. We take that seriously. I have always taken that seriously as chair of the Blue Water Committee, and precisely we have detained people here uh, for lying to the committee. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. I, I feel a constrained or I feel compelled to, to react. There is some insinuation that there is some kind of a, what, I, I, I don't know how to, a deliberate concealment of fact. Now, I wasn't sure whether Mr. Matobato disclosed the f filing of the criminal case when he testified. Perhaps he did not. So I saw my notes. There is such a claim. Now the next question is, probably he was not asked during the last hearing. And dito rin po sa notes ko, ang pagkakasabi ho dito ay kinasuhan ako ni Mirasol Marquez ng kidnapping pero hindi ito umusad uh, dahil walang record na pumasok ng bansa si Macdum at we were able to fix the case. Ito po ang nakalagay dito. So please, uh, let's be careful, let's be... Hindi po, wala po nanluloko sa inyo. Ako po, hindi po ako nanluloko no, sa inyo. You. We're accusing Matobato of pulling this committee, lying through his teeth, and then uh, running away from it. Hindi uh, naman Mr. Po Chairman, siya. Mr. Chairman, uh, alam mo na natin bakit siya umalis. Kahit ako man, hindi na nga ako... Uh, pumunta sa training after ng session dahil dahil nga dito sa dito dahil dito nga dahil pinatawag lahat ng mga inakusahan ni uh, ininvolved ni ni Matobato na mga pangalan at nandito na para magkaharap harap, harap at nang matapos itong investigasyon na ito dahil marami pa tayong dapat na i-discuss dito na na importansya para sa ating uh, sa ating gobyerno ipaano e, natin matatapos ito na siyempre kung anong isipin natin kahit sino ba namang tao Tama yung uh, kay Senator Lacson kanina na uh, parang pinagluloko lang tayo dito na ito na, dito na yun, nandito na, nandito na yung inakusahan niya, dapat hindi siya umalis para matapos na ito, hindi, ma, hindi, uh, hindi tatagal pa ng ilang araw itong, itong usapan na ito dahil hindi naman ito taga Manila ito, ito, hindi madaling i-gather itong lahat ng mga tao na ito. At siyempre ang isipin ko ay eh, nandito na, ay eh, baka umiiwas siya, ba, baka lumabas yung katotohanan. At umiiwas siya doon sa mga pagbago-bago niyang mga statement. We know na, we know the fact that uh, in his first statement here in, uh, in the Senate, iba, tapos nung pangalawa niya, iba na naman yun, kontradik doon sa statement niya, yun ang, nag, nag, nang, ang problema. Ngayon, hinirap itong mga tao dito, nang galing pa sa malayong lugar, eh buti kung sagot natin yung mga expenses nito nila sa kanilang uh, expenses ang, ang, ang gasos nila, malayo pa. So, kailangan nating matapos ka agad, mamarinig yung panig nila, nandyan si, ang, yung, uh, si, si Matubato, para hindi na tayo tumagal dito. At ang taong bayan, naghihintay na rin sa katotohanan. Yun po, uh, Mr. Chairman, na uh, for the record, na parang insulto sa atin yan, uh, all of us, all of us here, insulto sa atin yan, yung ginawa ni Matubato na Uh, I'm not uh, pointing uh, anybody here, all of us, tayo na nandito ngayon, mga senador, mga 
mga mga uh, uh, nag-witness uh, lahat ng mga kay, kay General uh, De La Rosa at sa mga PNP natin na mar marami pang dapat gawin eh, uh, uh, hindi nila nagawa ay nagampanan yung uh, trabaho nila dahil nandito tayo buong araw hanggang gabi so uh, yan yung, uh, yan yung uh, uh, pan paningin ko uh, Mr. Chairman na uh, parang parang insulto sa atin yan na sinakripisyo natin yung mga dapat nating uh, importanteng gawin para lang dito sa isyo na to para matapos. Uh, let, me, let me commend uh, Senator Pacquiao, Senator Luxon. I mean, Terry takes note of the seriousness of the, the situation right now. I feel very much betrayed by it, quite frankly. Not by, supply, not, not by, not by Mr. Matubado, but by our fellow senators here as well. Everybody knows that I was going to hold this hearing that we were going to go as far as we can. In fact, we had a recess. We continued after lunch. We continued after the sessions. And then when we called in the, the, with the uh, people from Davao, we had a recess. And he was still here at the time. But all of a sudden, when things, when the dam broke, he's gone. If the Director General of the PNP can spend the whole day and he's got a lot of things to do here. If the other officers of the, P of the PNP are here and stay the whole day with us, day and night, morning and evening, if Senator Pacquiao, who is about to have a title bout, and that is no laughing matter. I will have order in this chamber. It is no laughing matter. This is serious. We're dealing with a situation here that is very perfidious. I'm just trying to lay out the fact that tayo ay napapakasikap dito para luwabas lahat. At tarinig nyo rin na sinabi ko kahina. I was bending over backwards. Ayoko sabihin kay Senator De Lima na mali yung ginawa niya. Ang sabi ko, I will recall, I was very careful with my terms. I said it was an oversight. But when that came out, that Mr. Matubato has already left. Pinahahabol ko. Ang sabi niya, delikado raw yung kanyang, na Tagalog ko, makokompromise raw yung kanyang security. Eh, para naman nagsususpite siya ako na para bang pinakaisahan tayo dito. And that is why Mr. Chair, I cannot let that pass. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, may... Madam. Is there an insinuation? That's not an insinuation. It is a fact. That we deliberately... That is a fact. Allowed, or do we deliver? I'm a lawyer. I didn't even know that he left already. I'm a lawyer, and I know. I didn't even I know, know. that there are vital facts in my case. When I'm presenting a case, when I'm presenting here, no. I have four or five people here telling me, in case I forget, what we reviewed. And something as significant as that, that a witness came here, accusing people here, that together with a sergeant, with the SPO4, he derotted, he chopped down a victim. And yet, we are in possession, one of our colleagues is in possession of a note that says he was charged by the NBI. That is material concealment. I cannot make that pass. And I think I can speak for most lawyers, that concealment is really despicable. It is even unethical. And so therefore, I have to express my umbrage at this very, very bad situation. In fact, I hear Senator Luxon wants to terminate. terminate the proceedings here. I'm not even willing to do that yet. But you have a situation where a witness has flown the coop while everybody who has important things to do from the highest police official in the country to our fighter who is known as the Pambasang Kamao are here and all of us we were all aware and you know sinabi ko pa when you work with me we are going to finish this in fact I said three days and paumanin pa ako kay Senator Luxon gusto ko matapos to dahil nagagalit ang mga tao pag masyadong matagal eh pagkatapos bigla tayo nag-iimbestiga rito tapos bigla lalayasan tayo yung pala meron tinatago na sinasabi ay meron na palang ebidensya sa laban sa kanya at siya itinahit sa NBI paano naman natin palulusutin yan and, and other people, not including those whom he accused, 
to have participated, allegedly have participated. Mr. Chair. Just deliberate. Uh, I'm trying to hold my, my, my temper here, but I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not going to be emotional here. I'm going to be deliberate. On your point, Mr. Chair, just yes. one minute. On the point of the chair and co-chair and uh, with the indulgence of my uh, colleagues, I think the committee can forgive, the PNP can forgive, the Filipino people can forgive that we were taken for a ride here. But Mr. Chair, yourself, Senator Luxon, in public, some of us in private have told the President, Sir, any statement you made is amplified nation uh, worldwide. But the problem, Mr. Chair, may I just put on record, because that uh, Mr. Matobato was allowed here without vetting him and without disclosing that case, BBC, CNN, New York Times, uh, I think Washington Post, put on their uh, front page and put on their show that the Philippine president is a mass murderer and put on their front page that the Philippine president fed his enemies to the crocodiles. That is, may I quote Senator Luxon's statement, that, this, that is toothpaste that is out of the tube that you cannot put back in. And I'm not saying this because the president was my running mate or because I am for the president, but because he represents the country. So kung ang slinander ni Mr. Matubato ay si Senator Gordon or Senator Luxon or myself, we can forgive that, sir. Because, you know, it's hard. But may, may I just put on record, sir, that, you know, the, I don't know how, but I challenge this foreign media, now put on your front page, that this witness took also you for a ride because you printed it without checking first and cross-examining this witness. In fact, last point, Mr. Chair, some of these publications came out before Mr. Matobato testified here. Th that's just my point, Mr. Chair, and I, 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 I agree fully with what you feel. I'm also trying not to be uh, emotional, but I do not want the Europeans, the Americans, the Chinese, the Japanese thinking that this is the kind of country that we are running. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for this time.